Hi dear doers, now that I understand the basic flows of Stealthy Woods inventory, I would like to go deeper into the process by tracking our products by lots. Lots are batches of the same product. For example, I could package my products in lots of five instead of storing them one by one. It also allows me to have multiple lot sizes of the same product if it makes sense for my business. To track them, Odoo uses lot numbers, which are identification numbers assigned to a particular quantity or lot of material. Using that allows me to trace where a lot comes from, who I've sold it to, how much I still have in stock, and also where it is in my warehouse. Tracking will let me know if one of my products or batches is faulty, as I don't want to keep faulty products in stock, or even worse, have a faulty product delivered to a customer. Tracking will help me be on top of the situation and react as quickly as possible. More than that, it helps me avoid mixing components that don't match for my products that have slight differentiations because of dissimilarities between variants. With an inventory management system such as Odoo, I can easily have everything under control. So let's see how it works in Stealthy Woods database. All right, here I am on my database. Now, in order to track my products by lots, I first need to be sure I have the option activated. So let's go to Inventory, Configuration, Settings, and from the Settings page, we're going to scroll down to the Traceability section and be sure we have lots and serial numbers activated, which I do. So since I know this is already saved, let's go ahead and track one of our products by lots. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to go to Master Data, Products, and I'm actually going to select a product that Stealthy Wood doesn't manufacture. I'm going to select one that we purchased from a vendor, the storage box. Okay, and then I want to click on edit. Now there are two things I need to be sure of here. First of all, I want to be sure that this is a storable product because we only track storable products. Then I'm going to go to the inventory tab and under the traceability section, I want to be sure that tracking by lots is selected. Now here I will also select if I don't want to track at all or if I want to uh, track by unique serial number, but for this video, I want to track by lots. So let's go ahead and save this and you'll notice that I don't have um, any units of this product on hand. So let's go ahead and purchase this item. Now we're going to go to the purchase application and then we're going to create a new RFQ. I'm going to choose my vendor and then I'm going to add the storage box as my product. I want to purchase 40 of this item. Okay, oh, we need to add a price as well. Then we're going to save this and confirm the order. And once the order is confirmed, we're going to receive the products, which of course, by clicking on this button, I'm going to be redirected to the receipt. And here is where I'm going to be able to divide the order into different lots. So when we actually receive the products, let's click on edit. And then I'm going to click on this list icon here. And I'm going to go ahead and um, add the lot and the quantity that I would like to go into the lot. So let's put 0001 as the first lot. We're going to add 20 to this lot and 0002, whoops, and 20 here as well. And then confirm. All right, then we see the demand 40. We have 40 done. We can save and validate. All right, so that will be stored in our stock in the two different lots. So 20 in each lot. And we can keep track of exactly what we just did by clicking on the traceability button right here, which is really cool. Okay, so I have the reference, um, the product, the date, both of the lot numbers that I just created, uh, who it's from, uh, where it went to, or where it's from, I should say, and the quantity as well. So we can keep track of what's going on, which is really nice. But now that we have purchased some storage boxes, let's then sell them to one of our customers. So we're gonna to go to the sales application and create a new quotation. I'm gonna choose my customer, Marie-Aline. Then I'm gonna add the storage box as the product that she would like to purchase. And she wants to purchase a 30 of this item. We're gonna go ahead and save this and then we'll confirm. And when we confirm the sales order, it will automatically generate a delivery order. So let's go to that directly. All right, we have our delivery order here. We see that there was a demand of 30. We have 30 reserved, and we can actually see what lots they're reserved again. So if I click on edit and click on the little list right here, I'm going to see that Odoo automatically um, reserved some items from both of the lots. So I knew, and I know that I had 20 in the first lot and re reserved all of those items. And then it moved on to the next lot and reserved uh, the last 10. All right. 
I can always modify this if I want to only take a certain amount from each lot. So for example, if I only want to take 15 from lot one um, and the rest from lot two, I can manually modify it. All right, but I did like what Odoo suggested, so I'm gonna change this back. We're gonna confirm. I'm gonna save and validate. Now, of course, if we don't have a lot selected, no products will be reserved and you will not be able to validate the delivery order. So be sure you have your lots selected. All right, and here we also have a traceability report as well. So I see I took uh, 20 items from my lot number one and 10 from my lot number two. All right, but now let's go to the inventory application. And then we're going to go to master data and lots slash serial numbers. This is where we're going to be able to um, keep an eye on all of our products that we track uh, by lots or serial numbers. So let's go to our storage box. OK, I have both of my lots here and I can actually um, see what's happening with each individual lot. OK, so if I go to my lot number one, for example, I'll see that I don't have um, any products in this lot, um, but I can still keep track of what was going on. I see the purchases, the sales. Um, of course, I have a traceability report. So I see that I received 20 of this item from my, one of my vendors and I sold 20 as well to a customer. And I have the related sales order, which is nice. Okay, and if we go to our next lot for this item, we'll see that we still have um, 10 that are left in this lot. And of course, we can check our traceability report and we also will be able to check the location as well. All right, so I see that I received 20. Um, I had 20 in stock at one point um, and then I sold uh, 10 to a customer. So now I have 10 in stock. Okay, so I see the location. So um, I still have negative 20 from the vendor because we received it in our stock. I currently have 10 in my stock and my customers have 10 items from this lot as well. All right, so it's really nice because we can really keep track of everything that's going on uh, with this product. It's never been easier than it has been with Odoo. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.